Hey Tauruses and welcome back to Pure Black Magic, emphasis on the pure, the black, and the magic. My name is Dee and I want to thank you guys for tuning back into the Card House series. This is going to be um, a quick pop-up love message for you and your person, okay? Um, please keep in mind that it is very general, so it may or may not resonate with you. Parts of the message could resonate, parts of it might not, and that is totally okay. If you would like a private reading with me, you can find all of that information in the description box below. All right, Taurus, so let's pick up on your energy. Let's see what's going on with you. Energy for my Tauruses. All right, so we have time for a nap, okay? So you could be feeling um, very tired or very tired of this relationship or very tired of your person, okay? You could just be wanting to rest and not think about things right now. So you could be doing a lot of sleeping, okay? Let's see. At the bottom of the deck, we have go the distance and then we have round and round, higher power, clean it up. Okay, so you could be resting on this situation and wanting to move forward. Okay, you could be wanting to speak up and say something. But with the round and round, you feel like you're not going to get anywhere in this um, situation, this connection. Higher power, clean it up. Okay, I also feel as if your intuition is telling you to fix something or to clean something up in regards to your person or this situation. Okay, not for you and blessed. Yeah, I feel like um, there's something you need to let go of possibly because you have blessed and you have yang and you have breathe, exchanging gifts. You have all positive cards behind the clean it up. So maybe you're trying to figure out how to fix the situation. Let me see. What is your person's energy? What is the person Taurus is dealing with? What is their energy spirit? Okay, so that was a lot. Um, so we'll take this one. We have TikTok. Okay, this is this has been coming out for a couple of um of the different signs, but we have TikTok here. So your person could be feeling as if something is very time sensitive. Um, they could be feeling as if time is up in this connection. All right. The time is up for something, something around time here, okay? Um, or urgency, okay? It's kind of like your, your person kind of wants the movement here or is doing the movement with this time and this TikTok, but you're in a state of kind of just not moving at all or resting on the situation or sleeping. Um, very similar colors in these cards though. So I kind of feel like you're mirroring each other at the bottom of the deck. The mutual energy is regeneration. So I feel like you both need to work on just that. Okay. Regenerating yourselves. This could be the mutual one of, um, the mutual wanting to regenerate this, this energy, this connection. Yeah. We have unfinished symphony and then we have mending and we have change in the wind. Okay. Time to go message in a bottle serendipity. So regenerate rebuilding. Okay. Kind of starting over from zero. I feel like you both have this energy. You both want that to happen because you have unfinished symphony. You feel like things are not over here. Mending right after that, wanting to mend the connection, a change in the wind. Okay. Some sort of change needs to happen or it's going to be happening soon. Time to go. That's that change. Okay. Going towards that change a message in a bottle you could be sending a message to your person or vice versa serendipity okay about how much they make you happy orphaned okay how you feel alone right now fork in a row it's very indecisive fork in a row okay you're indecisive about something co-create about creating new life a new life or new opportunity with this person building blocks building something back up soulmates okay you feel like this is your soulmate by the book you want to do things by the book okay i can go on and on treasure island happy happy let's see what this um this time for a nap is for you taurus what is this time for a nap we do have the sun card at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like this individual makes you very happy. Could be dealing with a Virgo or a Leo. Okay, six of cups, very fond memories of the past or nostalgia. You could be um, dreaming a lot about this person because you have the time for the nap. And the six of cups is all about kind of just like remembering the good times, being up in your head. Okay, victory card next with the six of wands. You could think very highly of this person um or think they're very stable or you just want to kind of create some sort of victory in this situation what is time for a nap for taurus okay so we have 
the eight of pentacles all right so this is about work um this is about work this is about putting in work this is also earth energy okay more so virgo energy but taurus virgo capricorn we have the devil card at the bottom of the deck okay six of pentacles all right, Knight of Wands. You could feel as if your person is just very focused on their work right now or focused on their stability or just focused on something else because she's looking away. Six of Pentacles, you do want like an equal give and take or some sort of balance to happen here. But with the Nine of Knight of Wands on the outside of it, I kind of feel like you are moving away from that or you're chasing something else, okay? Let me see. We have the devil card at the bottom of the deck, the moon card, and then the tower card. So it could have been some very toxic um, shakeup that happened here. Some sort of ending with the moon card or secrets or fears that affected this situation. Okay, with the tower card. Because something was broken here. The tower card could have been some sort of blessing in disguise. I do feel like it was divinely orchestrated. What's on the other side of this knight of wands? Queen of Wands, okay? So you could be moving towards a fire sign, an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius, um, or you could have already Queen of Swords, Five of Wands, okay? Something has caused your person to kind of cut you off. There's this conflict and competition, kind of just this chaos of fighting with the Five, uh, five of Wands there. TikTok, let's see what's going on with your person. What's going on with your person? Okay, so here's that five of wands that just popped out again. Um, not really sure if it was like upright or in a reverse, but I'll I'll leave it like that. Let's leave it upright. What else do we have? Queen of Swords again, and then the Five of Swords. Okay, tick tock. All right. So maybe your person feels as if um the time is up in this connection because there's a lot of fighting going on. Okay, or this could be um just chaos with this five of wands and then the queen of swords again. It's kind of like they are kind of cold towards you or just have cut off com communication or cut this whole situation relationship off altogether okay and then with the five of swords here um they could be feeling very stressed out or just very menti mentally conflicted about what has happened here or this could be you at the bottom of the deck we have the hangman and usually the hangman is about stuck energy but this hangman is about releasing something so kind of coming out of that stuck energy kind of releasing something so that you aren't in this stagnant place Okay, Page of Pentacles, Magician, Judgment, the Nine of Cups. Okay, so a new start in the right direction, manifesting some sort of decision, okay, um, that makes you happy or makes you both happy, kind of takes you from this Nine of Cups energy, um, brings you into this Nine of Cups energy, takes you out of this Nine of Swords energy. So there's been a lot of um, crying, being upset, probably late nights, not being able to sleep here. Two nines, so the number nine could be significant, or the number 18, which breaks down to another nine, so triple nines, okay? Um, so that's what we have going on between you and your person, Taurus. Hopefully this helps you out. If it resonates, please leave me a comment below letting me know how. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel, you guys, and I will see you next time.